All right, chair stream already. Uh, hold on. All right, there we go. There we go. I think we need to lift it up a little bit and zoom it in just a little bit. Oh. All right. Enhance. Enhance. Yes, you get, get dick streams. Just read an Are You the Asshole post from Reddit uh, from a guy with a flight sim who's mad his wife doesn't consider him a pilot? <laughs> Yo, I mean, I mean, some of those, how, how realistic is the flight sim? That's what I would say. <laughs> uh, I'll say this, I'll say this, my wife really loves my racing, you know what I mean? She pretends to be interested in it. Oh shit. Said it's an A330, but you don't know what that means. I have a flight yoke. Uh, yeah, I have a flight yoke that I never use for some reason. Mostly because it's annoying to, like, change your... Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, is that one. It's annoying to change your, like, wheel over on the racing sim. I fucked that up. Sim stuff can be expensive. So expensive. Whoops, I fucked that up. Can't wait for subathon so you can watch me sleep? Well, that was a creepy way to put it, but I'm excited that you're excited. Damn it. Uh, you owe an apology. You used to be in a high dollar. Uh, you used to be in a high dollar race sim with motion. All the stuff you do in a real race car doesn't translate over. So you're sorry for giving me shit. Wait, what do you mean it doesn't translate over? Wait, are you telling me I'm gonna be a bad real race car driver? Which sim did you play, though? I guess I would say that. Uh, and also, what shit were you giving me? Don't worry, I can't even. I barely can read chat while I'm racing. Uh, what I've heard is that you just crash a lot less in real life. That's what I've heard. Um, that is the number one thing. Like, all Sims, no matter what, you just crash more. For a multitude of reasons. Do they have blue shells in racing? Can I read it all? What do you mean, can I read it all? Like, can I read? I am I mean, I have slight dyslexia. Bullshit. Uh, well, netcode and iRacing is its own thing, too. Damn it.
There we go. Uh, real deal kart racing rules. I'm like debating getting my child into kart racing. You couldn't stop the car from spinning over and over again? Yeah, I mean, that's the number one thing that I think people have problems with. Like, the, or like that I've talked to real racers, is like, your car just doesn't spin like it does in, in the sim, you know? People don't spin out like that. Don't, and don't get me wrong, people spin out in real life, but like, not like that. And I think a lot of that is just because, like, you can feel the pedals, you know? You can feel things more in real life. You can feel the reaction. Damn it, I fucked up. You've been playing Kaizo for two years and Cape Tech still looks magic to you? Uh... I would say no other game does it the way this one does. Yeah, like, like, your, like, the gas pedal and the brake pedal are just not gonna feel and react the same no matter what you do, you know? I mean, unless you're just... Crushing it, you know? Oh. Damn it. Uh, get a Taco Bell chicken chalupa emote? Oh. I don't really think so. I mean, if Taco Bell paid for an emote... Honestly, I don't get why when people do sponsorships, they don't ask for emotes, too. You know? Like, I feel like that would make a lot of sense. Oh, whoops. Can't wait for me to play Elden Ring Randomizer. I know, I think I'm gonna... I think we might do it on during the subathon. I don't know. <laughs> You're down for any randomizer content during the subathon? Am I going to play Hogwarts Legacy? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Um, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, okay. Everything aside, everything aside, uh, JK Rowling aside, Hogwarts Legacy looks like a really, really, really good game. Um, I don't think, um, I think a lot of the conversation around it is a little um, kind of ridiculous and just doesn't take into the fact that 99% of people don't know that JK Rowling fucking sucks, you know what I mean? Or, and I'd say, 80% of people don't, couldn't tell you the person who, you know, made the Harry Potter anyway. But I do know it. Uh, and I do think she sucks. And, um, it doesn't mean, like, what do I want to say? The game doesn't mean en enough for me to, you know, like, alienate some of my friends in that situation. You know what I mean? I also am not super mad at, I'm not gonna like fucking hate on anyone else that wants to play it, but just for me, like, and the fact that like, I'm kind of a beacon of promoting games when I, I'm like a beacon of promoting games when you play a game, you're kind of promoting it. It's maybe not something I, I want to play, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. So yeah. Woo. Yeah. Oh. 
Uh... Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately... Oh, what do I... Uh... Yeah, also, also, can I be real? It's a single-player RPG, like, it doesn't... It's not like I play a lot of single-player RPGs, you know what I mean? On my channel. <laughs> Yeah. Why is this happening? Yeah, you know what's the ethical thing to do? Pirate the game and steal it. <laughs> Hendrix Gamer, thank you for five months. Why are you bouncing up there? Uh, no, I haven't played the Elden Ring Seamless Co-op, but I really want to. Yeah, I really, really want to. Oh, shit. Games being pirated show that it's beneficial to the game. Um... I'm going to give you a, a pretty hot take, Dr. IQ. Uh, if you give away something that's awesome for you'll free, you'll still make calves. your money. Yeah. Getting them dad calves? I've been, I've been uh, walking on the treadmill lately, so... Uh, what am I going to... What do I do here on that? I don't know what to do after this section. <laughs> uh, you're playing Seamless Co-op Randomizer right now? Yeah, honestly, I would love to do a Seamless Co-op run. What? Um, okay, so I'm going to throw that up. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I had to turn your brightness down after seeing my... Wait, what? What? My legs are tan. My thighs are white. My legs are tan. Kidding me? This is you just get you're just getting some light. I got dark I got dark legs. I don't know what you're talking about. I never wear pants. My thighs though? Those are pasty. <laughs> yeah. Uh bottom of shorts. Keep it coming. No, I don't think all piracy's bad. Uh hmm. Okay, I did something wrong there. I did something wrong there. Not proof you've been wearing Jinkos? Got the blinders out? I did wear some Jinkos. I can't believe Netflix is changing their uh their password thing. Oh. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah. Well, like, even, like, my me, my brother-in-law lives right down the street from us, but now he's got to come to our house and log into his fucking account. Uh, 
Is that how it works? I don't really get it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that sure seemed like what to do, didn't it? How long do I think I'm going to play Tears of the Kingdom for? I don't know. 100 hours or so? Netflix lost all its good content anyway. Uh, Netflix is like broke HBO and that it has something I want to watch like every few months the same way HBO does. You know what I mean? Like I keep HBO forever because they're definitely going to have a show that I have to watch at some point in the year. You know? Oh yeah, Drive to Survive is really good. Drive to Survive comes out soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I think. I like how I don't know if you've seen HBO HBO Max, they don't give a fuck. They make memes about sharing their passwords on Twitter. How did Okay, so I'm like Do I just need to hold right there? I guess I just need, I'm gonna just try holding right. Hmm. Hmm. How do you get it to fly up? If I was in the Royal Rumble, what entry would I have to be to have a chance of winning? It used to be 27. Netflix overestimates the amount of must-watch content they have. I think they have numbers, though, on the fact that people just sit on Netflix and look for things to watch for an hour. The Netflix menu is probably one of their most-watched shows. Yeah. Seriously, how long do you spend on the Netflix menu? Just browsing what they have. One word children? Uh, oh, my kid could go without Netflix. Yeah, I, I could go without Netflix, no problem with my kid. Now Disney Plus, on the other hand... I don't know. I don't know what the price you could put on Disney Plus for me. For me to get rid of Disney Plus for our family. Yeah. Shit. Uh, I don't let my kid watch YouTube at all. No, he's not allowed to watch anything on YouTube. I don't want, I don't want my kid, um, as a YouTuber, I know how that algorithm fucking works. Okay, I guess that's what we do, right? YouTube premium's worth it? Yeah, I'd have to get him, like, his own, can I, can I, like, link, can I link an account for him on my account, I guess? Bitch. This game's so hard, chat. Yeah, this game's so hard.
Uh, yeah. Miss Rachel's fire. Yo, have you seen the Miss Rachel thirst trap she posted back in the day? I was just saying, sup, Miss Rachel? Sup, Miss Rachel? I gotta, like, I'm getting, I'm spinning up in there, but, yeah. They're really, they're, like, super calm thirst traps. They're, they're, it's not, it's literally not any, even a big deal at all. It's literally just, like, Miss Rachel in normal clothes. Yeah, it's not even that big a deal, which is funny. It's, like, literally, like, Miss Rachel in normal clothes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. I feel like that was good. Uh, Dragor, thank you for the sub. I don't know if subs are... Are the subs pinging this morning? I'm not hearing a noise when they happen. Damn it. Uh, how's the bathers practice coming along? Uh, I'm gonna race tonight. Uh, usually after football, I do, I spend some time racing. Uh, after the football podcast. Today we have Malcolm Smith on the Super Bowl MVP for the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. Have I done Super Mario Odyssey freeze tag? I have not done freeze tag yet. Uh, we also have Ryan Shazier coming on the show. Uh, cool thing about Malcolm Smith, his brother Steve Smith, not Carolina Steve Smith, New York Giants Steve Smith, and him both played in the Super Bowl. So we can get some insight on what Travis Kelsey's mom's feeling like. Oh, shit, yeah. Okay, well, now what? <laughs> well, that was cool. Whoops. Wait, all right, I want to probably and then do this, yeah. to do this. I want to I I need to figure out how my hands are going to handle this. Yeah. Jedi survivors 
push back. Uh, I think that's fine. Oh, I need to full jump. I'm a, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, Travis Kelsey's mom. I think she's going to be like that. She's got to be like the happiest woman around, right? Okay, so then I think I need to throw that. I would guess. Yeah, I would need to... I would. I feel like so we throw the shell into the on-off, and then we're gonna magically start flying again. That's what I think is gonna happen, chat. We're gonna throw the shell into the on-off, and we're gonna magically start flying again. Okay. I definitely didn't just cheat and look. You know. Uh, released on May the 5th. Okay. Okay, I need to spin one more time. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think you want to release it and give people enough time before Zelda. I, I really think you want to give people enough time before Zelda to play your game. Okay. Okay, I got this. When was it supposed to release? Early April? Was it supposed to release in early April? Is that when it was supposed to release? Sometime in March. Um, damn, March would have been a good time for that game. I would have really liked it in March. I wonder... What happened to cause that? Devs op with Brian. Thank you for the Prime Gaming. <laughs> uh, All I know is you should not... The, whoever makes the Horizon... Uh, Zero Dawn release schedule, that guy should be fired. Yeah. Uh, Prime account's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> don't, don't have to, don't have to say sorry to me. Okay. I think I get this section. This level's sick. I like this level. I feel like this is just a very, 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 very sexy ROM hack. Uh, Floor, thanks you. Thank you for five months. I'm kind of sad, though, because today we can't go over 5k. We were already over 5k. Cape levels mess with your brain. Oh, I fucked up. If I can make a game under any IP, what would I choose? I would make a futuristic Zelda. Oh, that's cool. 
Is YouTube who going to be playing this as well? Yeah, but we're only going to have me doing one shots. Yeah, a YouTube video of just nothing but me one shotting this game. Damn it. YouTube Poo does not know how to do one shots. Yo, break. Thank you for the raid, my friend. Oh, y'all need to check out Break, if, especially for you all who like F1 here. Oh, come on, I'm a bitch. Uh, the Red Bull cap, lol. Uh, SPM Life. I'm I'm sponsored by Red Bull. Yeah, SPM Life. You you. I mean, before you laugh at someone, you should you should know. You should know. They pay me. This ain't a Red Bull racing hat. This is a Grand Pooh Bear speedruns games plays Mario really fast hat. Now, do I like Red Bull racing? Well, yeah. You gotta support the team. You gotta support the team, baby. <laughs> do I have a do I have an obnoxiously large sim rig? Well, yeah. Don't worry. Literally, don't worry. Like, legitimately, yo, legitimately, I'd say 90% of people walk in here and are, and think, like, oh, he must be a Red Bull fanboy, you know, of some sort. Especially because I do, because I like F1, you know what I mean? But it's, like, the other way. I started liking F1 because I was signed by Red Bull. <laughs> you know? Like, the proximity to it got me into it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Red Bull's a poo fanboy? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see me come on? You were watching a banger of an Ari stream? Oh, come on! Hey, you have to cook dinner. Dinner? What time is it? Where are... Where is everyone? <laughs> I was wondering if you still lived in fish and chips land. Fuck me. Dude, the trolliest troll in all of trolls is an extra on-off switch. Literally. The trolliest troll in all of trolls. It'll get me 100% of the time. An extra on-off switch will get me. A hundred percent of the time. Bullshit. I won the vote of what stream you should watch. You know you could multi-twitch. Uh, Carl made this hack, yes. There's only one checkpoint in this level. 
bitch. <laughs> okay, well that one I knew was coming and I still hit it. It's like a big shiny object. You know what I mean? How can you not hit it? Yeah. The big shiny object. Why are you not... What are you doing? What am I hitting? Hmm. I'm almost wondering if I should just play this hack claw grip. Damn it. How different are my YouTube and Twitch demographics? I don't know, they don't really give you numbers on Twitch like that, yeah. You bastard! When's Grand Pool World 3 coming out? Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel like it'd be pretty similar. I don't think I have drastically different demographics anywhere. You know? You bitch! Are you with your anger issues, you would have broken your controller 10 minutes ago? Ah, this is what I do. Patience is literally the key to success. Like, if you take two L's, if you take two L's and turn them, like, not quite 90 degrees, but like 45 degrees, and then put them together, you get a W. Yeah. Yeah. How often do I replace my rubbers, get a new controller? Uh, I don't know, twice a year. Depends on how much I'm playing, though. You bitch. In that case, you should have at least 15 Ws. Well, after this comes us trying to one-shot the level. Oh, shit. And then we'll take lots of L's. Why are you not... Why is it not working? Rage, uh, you saw, wait, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I use older TVs. You saw the other day an older TV. Do you use that in order to play older games? Yeah, I use any, basically if, if a console was made before HD TVs came out, I'm using a old, why is that not work? I'm using an old uh, TV for it, yeah. There we go. Oh, no, we, no, we don't go. One shot, one a day. One, one, one shot a day. Oh. Ah. Mm, uh. 
Is it a preference or you have to? Um, I mean, you know, there's there's workarounds around it, but it's the best way. Yeah, there are workarounds, but it's definitely the best way. Rage, man. It's hard to get. Uh, one shot a day keeps the evil away, or is that spliffs? One L, one, you should take one L every day. It's important you know how to take L's. What am I doing wrong there? I feel like I'm not hitting it at the right time. You bitch! Why well, you play Splunky 2? Now I'm losing the sink? What sink? Uh, did I ever have a TV that you had to route your game through a VCR to play it? Uh, no. And neither did you. Your parents just didn't get an RF adapter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, your parents just needed to get an RF adapter. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, that's never existed. Yeah, you just didn't have RCA plugs in your thing. Yeah. Well, I don't think... Yeah, I think after... I don't think the Super Nintendos came with... Anything past Super Nintendo came with RF adapters. Come on! Mm, bro, your parents couldn't even spell RF? I'm sure your parents could have spelled RF, considering that it's two letters, all right? Your parents might have not understood technology. But I'm sure they would have been fine. Oh, come on. Ha! Ha! I'm smart! I'm smart! Alright, let's play that level again. Whoops. Who is smart? SMRT? No, I don't I don't really get how to do this. Why are we doing it again? So we can get good at it. Yeah, so that way we can learn how to get consistent at it and then when we do speedruns it'll be really fun. Yeah. Whoops. Who really likes this level? Actually, I mean, I do think this is a pretty cool level, I will say. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, I will say, I do think this is a pretty cool level.
damn it. Uh, keep up. I'm your hero. I'm your hero, bro. I literally play video games. We got to go higher than that. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta aim higher than me. Gotta get good so you can give me the best time. Uh, I don't even know if I want the best time. I think just an adequate time in this game would be really fun. You know? Okay, I think I got this. Not trying to top the leaderboards. I imagine this this game is all one shots in the leaderboards. Yeah, you bet I could. I mean, maybe I don't know. What would an adequate time be? I don't know, like ten minutes. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Top spots, eight minute and eight seconds. Yeah, there's a large difference between 10 minutes and eight minutes. A speed run. Damn it, shit, shit. I thought that was going to be it. Damn it. I had it. Uh, top spots, 8 minutes, 8 seconds. I mean, it's only, what, 6 levels, this game? So on one end, yeah, that's crazy. On the other end, it's really not. That crazy? You know what I mean? Uh, oh, Owan Dork Ernado. What a name. Thank you for nine months. Yeah. Anyone who can take down the final boss of Baron Shell is a force to be reckoned with. I mean, Baron Shell is gnarly as fuck. The final boss especially. Yeah. Good job not hitting the on-off. Thank you. Damn it. The top five spots are all within 50 seconds of each other. Well, like it's because it's it only has so many levels, chat. The, le the less amount of levels you have, the more bunched up things are gonna be. Like the shorter the shorter a hack or the shorter a run, the more bunched up everything gets, you know? Uh, digga, digga, digga. thank you for nine months. Oh. Fucked up. Bunched up like my shorts. Oh, my shorts are not bunched up. You might be getting some soft knee right now, and that's it. Yeah. Some soft, soft knee.
Rage. Uh, why are my knees so soft? I don't know how to answer that. Oh, shit. Uh, lotion? I mean, Lubriderm? Yeah, you got it. You got a man lotion. Are you not? Are you guys not lotioning? Yeah. The elbows, the knees, the hands. You guys got a lotion. The first half of this level is way harder than the second half. What am I doing wrong there? Why am I no longer getting that? Chat, you got accepted to every college you applied to? Yo, way to go. Congrats. Where are you going to go? What college are you going to, though? Live in Florida? You don't need moisture? Or you don't need lotion with moisture? It says, it says Ashy Larry over here. Yeah. You don't know yet. What it? What are? What are your factors? Without without telling us where you're going, you know what I mean. Don't you don't have to dox yourself. But what are your factors on choosing? You know what I mean. I'm going to say. I'm going to say my factors were uh, major college football and, and hotties. Yeah. You only applied into... I applied to a bunch of schools. I got. I was lucky to get into them all as well. Uh, but that's because I had... Uh, obnoxiously good test scores. Yeah. I had mediocre grades with insanely good lucky test scores. What am I doing wrong? Oh, dude, who cares? Who cares? I, you know what I would tell, you know what I would tell kids today? Take out the loans. The world's not going to be around by the time you pay them off anyway. What's the chances of you actually seeing that out? Let's be real, 20-year-olds. You think you're making it to... 50? Come on. <laughs> Rage. Yeah, I paid off mine right before we bought this house. Felt good. Thanks, chat. Damn it. We didn't get it. Yeah, we didn't get it. It's gonna be such a hot one shot too. Uh you paid off your smaller loans last year. Uh you picked a smaller college and graduated with a BS in three years. Yeah, a lot of a lot of my graduation was based off BS as well. I'm joking. I didn't graduate. That was also BS. That was also BS.
I know. Wait, should we go again? Should we go again until we get the one shot chat? Let's keep going until we get the one shot. Do I ever think I'll go back to college? Um, I don't think... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it depends on, like, what happens after my career. This is done, you know what I mean? I guess. Like, whenever y'all decide to stop watching me. Yeah. You went to a hometown college, but it's also the biggest one in the state you grew up in? I mean, that's fair. Yeah, if you grew up in, like, Boulder, Colorado, I think it's okay to stay home. I feel like I'm going to get a job in sports commentary. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm already pretty old, you know? Uh... And I'm already kind of doing that. I don't know. I mean, that's the thing is, like, anything else I could do, like, I could probably just do it while I'm doing this, right? You know what I mean? Like, why can't I just commentate for Twitch? Yeah, uh, Judge Murphy, thank you for 20 months. Yeah, I could do all online college. I, I just don't, what do I want to say? I don't have any desire. I don't know, like, but I didn't, I didn't like class that much, I guess. You know what I mean? I like cl certain classes. But I don't, I don't really care about getting the requirements. And, like, my, what I need to finish is, like, my major. Which is journalism. And, like, I don't know. There's some classes I would have to take that I think would, quite honestly at this point, be a little maybe... Um... Uh, Maybe, uh, redundant, yes, yes, redundant. Embarrassing? Yeah, well, I was, I wanted to write for newspapers. That's what I originally went for. And then you kind of had to change to, like, broadcast journalism, you know what I mean? And then there's definitely going to be some things in a broadcast journalism class that would be... A little... What do I want to say? In theory, I already know it because I've been streaming on Twitch for a long time. Let's go. You know, like, I've broadcasted for 10 years. So yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get my degree. There we go. One shot, chat. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and watch this one real quick, chat. I think this is the one with Yoshi, too. This one has some shit that I don't remember. Yeah, there's some shit I got to do on this. Carl makes some bullshit, man. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, this has Yoshi Flight? I don't remember this at all. I don't know if I know what to do on this chat. <laughs> I'll just be real. I don't know if I remember Yoshi Flight. Oh, this level's fucking intense. Uh, yeah, this level's got a ton of Yoshi flight. This one's gonna be the, this one's probably gonna be the hardest one for us. What time is it? What time is it right now? I need to make sure I. Oh, I got two hours. I got this. Skip. Uh, you had to take college trig because the classes you took in high school didn't count. I uh, I never had to take any math classes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, going back and getting my degree, I like it'd be more just something so like my kid couldn't ever be like, oh, you didn't get your degree, dad, and look at you, you're fine. You know, some, some shit like that. Yeah. Uh, it's a random question for someone new to streaming. Uh, new to streaming, coding, building chatbots and stuff. What did you do when there was no one in your stream? Talk to yourself? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Uh, the Whack Pegasus. Thank you for 37 months. Yeah. You got your degree in broadcasting, you're a mailman now, life is weird. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would say, like, even if you get a useful degree, and when I say useful, I mean one that's, like, a good job. Because I think all degrees are actually useful. Like, I think time in college is useful even if you don't get a degree, you know what I mean? Is it a good investment? Uh, that's debatable. Okay, I, I screwed that up. But, you know, I think they're all worth uh, worth something. You know, business majors who work at McDonald's seems like a waste. Bro, I don't know if you know how much money you can make uh, running McDonald's. Is, uh, but... You you uh, you work at McDonald's for 10, 15 years. You get to become a GM of one. You get to become a GM of two. All of a sudden, you're fucking making bank. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. You might be underestimating the value in going to Mick College. Yeah. I don't know what to do there. Okay. Okay. Real pay is being the GM at In N Out. Yeah, I mean, In N Out's probably better. It's probably a better spot to work at. Mostly because the food's significantly better. Real pay is being an OnlyFans pro. Well, that's just not, dude. You know how much work. Even if you're, even if you're smoking hot and have the best feet ever, you know how much work it is to get an, a pop in OnlyFans. Probably harder than becoming a streamer now. Yeah.
Never been to an in and out, but you've only heard good things. Uh, listen. The only complaint you'll have with in and out is that we have hyped it up too much. Yeah. Yeah, you think streaming's depressing? Try having an OnlyFans with no fucking fans. That's gotta be depressing. Damn it. Do I want to shoot that backwards? Do I want to spit that shell backwards? That might be better. Yeah. Shake Shack's better? Uh, I don't, I don't think Shake Shack's burger is better, but I think Shake Shack's chicken sandwich is fucking sick. Huh? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Okay. All right, all right, look at that. Championship, championship. This one you have to take a death on. Call you simple, you like five guys? Five guys is too expensive. Uh, how do I do this? It's like, Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Something like that is what I'm guessing. Uh, you can get alcohol at Five Guys? Well, yeah, that's why you can't compare it to in and out And then we want to do Yoshi Flies, right? And then Yoshi Fly, uh, I can't remember exactly how to do Yoshi Fly's chat. Yeah. Oh, at Red Robin? Yeah, but their food sucks. Actually, their fries are pretty good. Okay, that seems right, doesn't it, chat? That seemed right. Yeah, we're good. In and out fries are trash. In and out fries are dank. You just have to salt them yourself and put, you know, you have to season them yourself. But, I mean, given the Caucasian demographic of my chat, I understand their problem. <laughs> They're actual potatoes. Yeah, they're just, like, here's the thing with In-N-Out fries. It's just a fucking, you can watch them make them. They just take a potato, 
They, they they have a little dropper and it drops right to the fryer and that's it. It's just a fucking potato. They don't do anything else. It's not a fucking, you know, they're not coming in a fry bag like in and out or uh, like um, McDonald's. Yeah. In and out fries are fresh. They're not good. I guess it just depends on how, you know, you're. <laughs> I guess it just depends on what you like, you know? I don't think they're that bad. Also, they're bur I mean, their burger's significantly better. What did I do wrong there? What is happening? This level's wild. Okay. I did... I'm doing the Yoshi part correct. We've got the Yoshi fly part. We've got this part. Oh, oh I needed to hit the Yoshi. Wait. Wait. Okay, so we hit the Yoshi. And then do we Yoshi fly again? Do we pop off that? I don't know what's happening here in chat. Yeah, I don't know what's happening at all. This level's fucking wild. The heck are you supposed to do with the falling Yoshi? You're supposed to get on him and do something. I feel like I feel like getting good at this hack is like it will level it's gonna level me up in a way that other hacks don't level me up, chat. And that's kind of why I felt like I wanna get good at this. You know what I mean? Yeah, the hack you're supposed to do? Yeah, you need just to get some Yoshi flies in there. Okay. I need to catch that. I need to catch that Yoshi. Ready for the day where Barb just drops Grand Pooh World 3? I think Barb. I don't think it's going to be a surprise drop. I think Barb's going to want the hype and the, uh, the release date. I think he's going to give us probably about a month. Yeah, I either want him to drop it right in the middle of my subathon or. Sometime after Tears of the Kingdom. Sometime in like June, July. Yeah, you love the crotch cam? Everyone, everyone who loves the dick owes a sub. Damn it. Uh, the Grand Pool World 3 reaction was exciting because I didn't think we'd ever get a Grand Pool World 3. Is this a new hack? No. It's not a new hack. It's old, but it's really fun. I played it once before, but it's been a while. And I didn't speedrun it, and I want to speedrun it now. First time joining the stream? Uh, no. Grand Pooh World 3 dates not been revealed. Hmm. 
No, why did you not do that? Is Nightbot down? It might be. Uh, Nightbot could be down. Who knows what Nightbot's doing? It goes down from time to time. What is considered the hardest hack in all of Mario? Uh, different people have different opinions on that. Yeah, different people have different opinions, but um, I don't know. I personally, I think Cassio is like the hardest playable hack. Like to me, just looking at him, like that one looked so miserable. That one just like, but it's still like kind of playable, but it looked fucking miserable. Yeah. Um, like as far as like, as far as like, you know, like, it's still a hack that people are going to play. And not just a joke. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to do that. The bots are all down from the Seinfeld. Whoa! Yeah, the bots are all down from Seinfeld. That's probably it, actually. The Seinfeld stream is taking up too much AI. I know. I Dude, I told y'all. Everyone's like, oh, streamers won't get replaced by AI. We're totally getting replaced by AI. What are you talking about? I can't think of content the way that, that fast. You know what I mean? I can't create a whole virtual Seinfeld show. That thing's been going for two days. Damn it. Technically not, because I got to do that recording for you. You bitch. Uh, your, gir my, your girl doesn't like my content. Should you leave her? Um, yeah, probably. I mean, I'm just saying she probably sucks. What Seinfeld character would I be? Oh, George. And then do I need to do... So I need a Yoshi fly there too, right? Yeah. You hardly watch content creators for the game itself? Well, that's what, in theory, we want you all to watch us for not the game. Like, that's, in my dream, you all would watch me no matter what I fucking played, did, or reacted to. But that's not the case for everybody, and I don't get mad at people, like, who are, you know, watch one thing or don't watch another, or, you know? I used to get butthurt about it, but then I realized I only watch creators for certain things too sometimes, so. Then I stopped getting butthurt about it. I mean, I think people watch me for Pokemon more than anything now. Do I got the Eagles in the Super Bowl? No, I'm taking the Chiefs. I'm taking Super Bowl God Patrick Mahomes. Quarterback God. Stop it! Uh, I mean, you don't have to, Buck. But I guess you... I mean, it's not like there's a Kentucky team. What about the Titans? You watch for the Iron Bro Challenge? Well, there we go. You just just even yourselves out. You watch because I say fuck me in the dick? 
You're easy to please. Well, what do I do there? I gotta, like, turn back somehow. You watch for the nips and shoulders? What's up, girl? I look like a disgruntled uncle today. I don't know what that means. I am disgruntled. I'm feeling very disgruntled today. Uh, you watch because I'm funny to get high to. That might have been the best compliment I've ever gotten on stream ever. I'm I'm putting like if I had the back of if I was the back of a video game box, I would put that quote on it. Yeah. Very enjoyable to get high to. Can you manage my OnlyFans account? Yeah, that means you gotta write the messages though. That's your plan for tonight with the AI channel? Stop watching the AI channel! Everyone stop! Stop! I don't want to lose my job to AIs before the year's over. Give me five more years before it happens. Damn it. This level's hard. Damn, fuck me in the dick. Ball's dick. Dude, yeah, <laughs> you gotta watch someone else besides the AI. Yeah, pretty soon it's all gonna be deep fakes and AI. Yeah. Eventually, you know what? I, you know what's gonna happen though, chat. Eventually, that they're gonna have a si episode of that Seinfeld that's anti-Semitic. We all know what's going to happen. It happens with every time AI is allowed on its own on the internet. Eventually that episode of Seinfeld is going to get really anti-Semitic. How do you know I'm not already a deep fake? Uh, if you see deep fake uh, porn of me, it's, it's real. Yeah. They all do. Literally every single AI that's ever been in content creation has eventually gone gone anti-Semitic. Literally every single content because like if they start they start going off the chat. Uh, they can start going off chat and other things like that, and eventually it happens. Literally that too. It's not like old school racism. It's always anti-Semitism. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. 
Are we doing chat GPT powered Grand Pooh Bear during the subathon? Oh man. I mean, yeah, I guess when you say it like that. <laughs> You're worried about political deepfakes causing wars? Oh yeah, I mean, it's gonna. What's gonna be really wild is that eventually we're going to have, we're gonna have world leaders that aren't real, right? Like I'm not saying there's not like a real team behind them, but they're gonna be there's gonna be world leaders that just like legitimately aren't real. They're just deep fakes. Sounds like the plot of Metal Gear Solid, pretty much. Uh, Doc Hard, thank you for eight months. Oh, you heard Subathon win April 1st. Might just be easier to start letting AI rule us. I mean, listen, 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 listen. All right, I'm not saying that. That's not at all what I'm insinuating, okay? But I do think sometimes there might be some solid unbiased decisions that we can make up based on stats. This level's hard. Yeah, I'm not really worried about, like, the machines taking over humanity either. How do I get down there? No, like, I'm just saying, like, I just can't see it being any worse than what we've got already. All right. Okay, chat. All right. The Boston Robox, the Boston Dynamics robot, the thing that's doing gymnastics and shit, fuck that thing. Yeah, fuck that robot. Yeah. Well, like, okay, so, like, people, this, I, a robotic warfare is, like, like, we're just playing battle bots, then. We don't need to build more than one. We could just do one battle bot and just decide everything that way. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid also predicted that. Just, just each of us have a champion? Yeah. Uh, should Embiid win the MVP? No. 
Jokic. Jokic should win another one. Jokic, Jokic is absolutely domina domination, dominating and efficient as fuck. Yeah. Uh, what do I hope the Lions do this offseason and in the draft? I hope we get a uh, young quarterback. Or Lamar Jackson. I hope we get Lamar Jackson. <laughs> um, isn't Embiid French? Yeah. All right, what am I doing here? Definitely need to look at this one, chat. Sorry. I have no concept of what's going on here. Okay, and then we want to catch it again. Okay. I get it. I get it. We're good. We're good. We're good. No, I thought Embiid was French, though. Uh, yeah, Wrexham, but we were talking, it's, uh, that's er erroneous to that particular conversation, uh, that particular conversation. It's, I started a new conversation about why Embiid was, why Embiid is, uh, French. Yes, completely new conversation. Uh, do I love my viewers or do I love their money? Uh, hyperactive, I can tell you right now, I don't love you. You seem like a bit of a twat. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, some viewers I genuinely love and care for and enjoy. And some viewers don't want me to know who they are at all. They just are, are happy uh, not being here. Uh, and, uh, other viewers like you are just a fucking dick. Yeah. Uh, I have the melody. Thank you for 10 months. Uh, but if you're asking if I do this for free, I mean, I did this for free for like two, three years before I made money off of it. So I don't know. I just really like doing this. Not going to change anything if I stop making money. Fuck me. Uh, Jeremiah. Almost. Uh, Fatty Dave, thank you for 79 months. I know, this is my favorite hat right now. Why are you not spitting out? Spanio loves my viewers' money? I mean, it does pay Spanio, and it does pay We Skill Now, so... How the hell, how did you support yourself for three years before you started making any money? Uh, Okran, so here's the thing. When you have a dream, right? You don't quit your job. So you will love me. Oh, thank you. You don't quit your job and just start the dream, right? You work both. Because you're poor and you have a wife, right? So what I did, here's how, here's how my life went. For a while, okay? First I got hurt. First I got hurt. And then I had about six months. So my first six months I was hurt. I was on a uh, disability. Couldn't walk, couldn't move. Like, you know what I mean? So whatever, whatever, right? Nobody watched me, whatever. I was just playing video games. Who gives a fuck, right? Then I uh, uh, was serving tables. That was kind of a night thing. So I could stream during the day. Then I got a job announcing at casinos and snowboard events, okay? And that basically operated from like 
nine at night to like two, three, four in the morning. Okay. So I would sleep. I'd get home. I'd sleep to like noon and then I'd wake up and I'd stream to like six, seven and then I'd get, I'd go to work. And that's how I would do it. And then like, I might like, you know, have a snack. Um, maybe I'll see my wife for three minutes. Yeah, things like that. Twitch is virtual busking. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. It is, it is though. Yeah, what was really hard was when I was editing my own videos then too. Yeah, that was so that was so tough. Uh JB Dragon Slayer. That was back in the day day. Open your mouth. I even had a cup for bits at one point. <laughs> Yo, the bit cup was lit, man. Yeah. Shit. Uh, thanks, Harvey Birdman. <laughs> the Robocop on the desk. <laughs> Yo, JB Dragon Slayer, thank you for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. Some of y'all have been here for a while. Yeah, man. Well, uh, Spaniel, I've known Buck since I was 10. Uh, the virtual desk. started hanging out in what fifth grade mm. how's my day going my day's going wonderful how's your day going we're having pork chops tonight. What's my highest donation ever received? Uh, one single time. Wait, what the fuck just happened there? Uh, my highest donation ever at once was $10,000. Yeah, it happened twice from the same person. Yes, long time ago. No, it was Ojujo. It's been a long, 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 long time. Nope. The highest Notch ever gave me was like uh, 750, but he would do that pretty often. Notch was like, yeah, Notch, Notch treated you like a stripper at a strip club. Hmm. It was during Bloodborne, yeah. It was during Bloodborne. Uh, which is even weirder, because, like, nobody does anything during Bloodborne. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, chat, you guys ever you guys ever want to know if I take my morals or money? Uh, Notch used to watch every day, and, um... <laughs> yeah, his Twitter, his Twitter antics caused me to, uh, you know... Explain to him that he's a very lost soul. Yeah. Very lost soul. Gave away a lot. Of, gave away a lot for that one. 
And you know what? And in, in my chat, he was genuinely a positive, like a positive, you know, like person in my chat. It just sucked because it's like as soon as he left, it'd be like. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? Drop the T? You can Google it. It's not worth it. It was a long time ago, yeah. Yeah. This looks really hard. Yeah, I think this level is the hardest level if I remember correctly. Oh, and then we got, okay, and then I got to spit that one. Uh, Todd Blue Todd. What up? And then what? Okay, so we spit that out. We do all this. We do all this shenanigans. We do this flight. And then what do we do here? This is going to take a long time to one-shot this level. I think the next level is the coolest one. Oh, and that's it. That's it. We just fly, and then we have a Yoshi fly, and that's, that's the whole end of the level. Justin Rowland? Spaniel? Uh, Todd Blue Todd, thank you for tier one. Yeah, he sucks. Draining for the ninth day in a row. You're about to write a strongly worded email. Where do you live? Do you live in the Pacific Northwest? Dude, I thought, I used to think, like, when I first moved to Portland, I was like, oh, the rain won't bother me that much. I'm, I'm from snow. Uh, Canary Cards, thank you for the prime. I'm from snow. Rain's so much worse than snow. So much worse. The rain in Portland's oppressive? It is, dude. That's the only way to that's the only way to say it. Uh I always just I always thought his voices were the fucking same. Like every one of his characters sounded exactly the fucking same. Yeah, it was cracking me up when people were like, what's Rick and Morty going to do without Justin Rowland? I'm like, fucking, what do you mean? They can hire literally any any person on the internet. Literally any, any, any white guy on the internet has a Rick and Morty impression. We're good. We can, we can make that one work. Don't worry. If Journey can replace their lead singer, we can, we can replace Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> you can say that about any artist? Uh, not always. Not always. You can't just replace Mariah Carey, you know? You're just saying that, Harvey Birdman, because you just, you know, you've been replaced by a countless amount of cartoon uh, talk show hosts. <laughs> you can replace Mariah now? She ain't that, she ain't that good anymore? Get out. I think I fucked up. Yep, I think I fucked up. Does Mariah have some really bad degenerative disease? I don't know. Yeah, it's called it's called making making a hundred million dollars every Christmas. I would have it too.
Yeah. I, that's why you should... I, I don't get why more artists don't make Christmas albums, man. They, they live forever. Okay, what did I do wrong there? I thought that looked good. Oh, that looked really good. The Bare Naked Ladies Christmas album suck. I think Kelly Clarkson's Christmas song is better than Mariah's. Underneath the Tree is a fucking banger. Yeah. You don't think Underneath the Tree is a banger? Um, <laughs> thanks, Dick Gario. I mean, I rarely, play, I rarely ever play real Super Mario uh, Mario Brothers. If I heard Riff Raff's Christmas album, who's Riff Raff? No. I'm just saying, if I was an artist, I would definitely be dropping Christmas albums. Oh. Fuck me. The DMX Christmas songs aren't real, that's why. And the DMX, the whole DMX doing Rudolph is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. What am I supposed to do? Am I just, ah, I don't know what to do there. Why it's not going fast. Kelly Clarkson seems like she'd be a fun hang. Eh. She seems boring to me. <laughs> Easy Christmas to run DMC songs. Yeah, I don't I don't think she seems that fun, honestly. Rihanna seems like a fun hang. Why am I not, uh, my dream blunt rotation? Uh, me and my cell phone. Don't fucking disturb me. None of us are ready to hang with Rihanna. Yeah, I don't think I'm cool enough to hang with Rihanna. Uh, no, I'm taking, I'm taking the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs. Yeah. I don't want to do shit, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I think the Eagles have a better team. But, yeah. Do I have athletic shorts underneath my athletic shorts? Not today. But yeah, that's normally what I wear. Philly Philly has a better team. They have the better roster. They've got... Their Kelsey brother is just as good. Um, They've got... A worse coach. But a really good coach. Like, I, I think Philly has the advantage on most things, but 
You know what they don't have? Patrick Mahomes, quarterback god. Patrick Mahomes, quarterback god. Uh, Cannibalistic Bear, thank you for 34 months. Uh, I Karst, what's up? We'll get into our Super Bowl preview next week. This week we're going to talk... This week's, this week's Let's Go Football is going to be a lot of Tom Brady, I'd imagine. How? Why? What am I doing wrong here? I don't get it. Like, it looks like I should just be able to... Fly. Like, I should just be able to fly. But it's not just letting me fly. Yeah, I got less... Uh, uh, I don't know. Is today Groundhog Day? Fuck Puxatani Phil. Uh, yeah, we have Let's Go Football today. Yeah. What is it? If he sees his shadow, there's more winner? So why am I losing flight? What am I doing to lose flight there, though? Yeah, I'm clearly losing flight. Don't drive angry. Just fly higher. Oh, I think I know what I'm doing wrong, chat. Yeah, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Hold on. Yeah. No, I think I know exactly what I'm doing wrong. Uh, appears I'm pressing the buttons in the wrong order. Possibly. I mean, definitely, obviously. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. No, I was... I needed to claw grip. I'm an idiot. Yeah. You gonna go watch the Groundhog Day movie? Palm Springs is better than Groundhog Day. Yeah. Palm Springs is a better Groundhog Day movie than Groundhog Day. Palm Springs is so good. If you've never... You know what's weird? Pretty much everything on Hulu... Every, like, Hulu original is pretty fucking good. You wouldn't think it. But they are all pretty fucking good. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That was a series... Hey, that was a series of events that happened. Have I seen the trailer for Cocaine Bear? Yes, it's easily my number one most want to see movie. Uh, they have like a John Cena vacation movie.
The ending was right there the whole time? Well, yeah, I mean... Kind of how it works. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Cena and Little Rel. It was a good movie. Should watch Cocaine Bear while it's on cocaine. I've never done um, the cocaines, you know? So, um, I don't really think... I don't really think uh, it's something... You can't even one-shot this level. I don't really think it's something I'm going to hap have happen. I don't really think that'd be content for me. Yeah. Isn't the Winnie the Pooh one supposed to come out? There's no way I'm gonna one-shot this one chat anyway. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna one-shot this one. This one's fucking hard. And Yoshi flying's too gnarly. I thought the Winnie the Pooh horror movie was like a like low budget, like ten thousand dollar movie. Though. I thought it was like a student film essentially that just got some play. Yeah. It is? Well, then why is everyone so excited about it? As if it's gonna be fucking great, you know what I mean? Damn it. Because it's not going to be great? People are excited about it? I mean, I hear people talking about it! Same reason- oh no, no. Cocaine Bear has tons of quality to it. That's like snakes on a fucking plane. That was fucking great, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Cocaine Bear looks awesome. I hear about them because I'm a Grand Pooh Bear? No, I mean, people have talked about it. I, there's news articles about these movies. These aren't things people are just bringing up to me because I'm a bear. No. I look awesome. Feel awesome today. Uh, sober till noon. Thank you for 47 months. Targeted ads. You know my name's not Graham Pooh Bear. Every like like the when I'm watching NFL football, they don't know my name's Graham Pooh Bear. On Fox to run ads for me. Why do I sometimes hit? Yeah, I need to do this differently. That part is hard. The bear equivalent of the gingerbread man. <laughs> Google, Amazon, and Twitter, see and hear all. What? It's not like I have this device that's just waiting for me to say its name. 
so it can respond to me listening to everything I say. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about laundry soap and dog food? Or, hear me out, the algorithm's so smart that it knew you were out of it. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, I, I think I think everyone thinks everyone thinks that our phones are just listening to us and gathering mad data, but they probably I mean they probably are too. But I think the algorithm's just good. I think the algorithm's just way better than any of us know. Chat, right now there's a robot making sign animated Seinfeld episodes on Twitch. Like it's nothing. You know what I mean? And you think they can't figure out when you want to buy dog food? Yeah. You just did a Prime sub? You didn't know you could do that? Yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub. Go free. I don't know what we're doing wrong here. What time is it, chat? Oh, we can get one more level. Practicing for the speedrun? Yeah, but this level's hard, man. Uh, yes, I do have Let's Go Football today. Get your... Get... I need... How do I do this correctly? Yeah, I don't know how to do this correctly. What this section really theoretically wants me to do. Because I need to get enough speed to where Yoshi pieces out. Yeah. Algorithms are perfect. Are you questioning the algorithm? Yeah. Uh, they literally Google says below average earner. Wait, why? Why? Wait, Rentborn. First of all, it might just assume that you're cheap. Secondly, how can you Google Rentborn and see how much you Google thinks you earn? Yeah. They probably just think you're cheap because you watch content for free. How? How? <laughs> oh, what's going on?
No! Okay. How did I do this the first time? It's like everything about this just doesn't line up. Watch get a gameplay of the level could help. Uh, listen, bitch. I've watched it. Alright? Shot the fuck up. I need yo I need to not land on Yoshi somehow. Eh, whatever. Whatever. I mean I guess we could do it that way. Damn it. Uh, what if you have to go to the bottom? The bottom what? Oh, that, on that one? No, you don't have to go through the bottom. That's not how you do it. There's, uh, there's hidden blocks. Uh, thanks, Clint, for the gift sub to ball cam. Almost worked. This part of the level is not too bad. The speed, I know. Uh, I did, I did see the Mario clip with Seth Rogen's voice. Uh, it sounded a lot like Seth Rogen, and I'm okay with that. Seth Rogen. Sounding like Seth Rogen. It's kind of weird that Jack Black's doing this super awesome stylized Bowser and everyone else was just like, it's a me, a Mario, you know? Jack Black and Keegan Michael and Keegan Michael Keel, uh, or Keegan Michael Key? I don't know. Like, they're doing work. Yeah, they're doing work. Charlie Day is fine, because Charlie Day, Charlie Day sounds like Luigi in my mind. Yeah. Physically impossible for Jack Black not to go hard. Shit. I had it. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say that. I had an expectation for Toad Voice. And I'd say my expectation for Toad Voice is pretty... met. I would say... Luigi's voice too, but Luigi already sounded like Charlie Day to me, I think, so that one was okay too. Damn it! Yeah, they were born for each other. You think Charlie Day doing Kamek would have been fun, but he would never do that? Wait, why wouldn't he do Kamek?
Yeah. When's the Luigi's Mansion movie? They could totally make one. Uh, yo, if this, here, I'll say this. If this Mario movie makes what I think it's going to make, I think you're going to see a lot of, a lot of fucking Nintendo movies. You know what I mean? Like, this Mario movie is going to make. A bajillion dollars. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I think this Mario movie is going to make a, just an astronomical amount of money. I don't want a Zelda movie. I want a Zelda TV show. That's what I want. Only if it's good, it looks like it's going to be good. Live action Metroid would be hot. Hot take you want a Zelda game? <laughs> Alright, I feel like this next level is the most badass level in the hack. Yeah. Okay, I don't remember any of this. This is ridiculous. Okay, I don't know any of this. Who's playing Zelda and who's playing Samus? I don't know. Margot Robbie is Zelda. Everyone just wants to cast Anna Taylor Joy into everything. I know that Metroid Prime 4 has been in development for just as long as Tears of the Kingdom. Metroid Prime 4 is never coming out, so. Okay. Okay. Kirby movie? I fucking hate Kirby, so whatever. You guys can have it. And then I want to jump off that. And then do something. Brand of Tarth, yeah. Brand of Tarth for Samus. Why do I hate Kirby? Kirby sucks, dude. Just cause I like some Mario- Just cause I like some Nintendo doesn't mean I have to like everything Nintendo does. Splatoon's ass too. Sucking is the point. I enjoyed the last Kirby game. I mean, it was fine. I played it for one day. There's lots of games I enjoy for one day. Yeah. A Pokemon movie would be so hype. I, my dude. A Pokemon movie? We've, we got those. Those are... We're not- you don't need a Pokemon movie. Yeah, they've got- there's plenty of Pokemon movies. What do you want? What kind of Pokemon movie are you looking for? Yeah, there's a- there's a bajillion Pokemon movies. You want anime? You want Detective Pikachu? And then what do I do? And then what do I do here? What's a fire emblem? Robin Williams would have been amazing as Oak in P Detective Pikachu. Uh, but considering Robin Williams, didn't he die like way before that movie came out? Ah! You scared the shit out of me. 
Oh my god, she did give you gray hair. What? What? You went and got. What happened? You don't seem happy about it. No. Did you tell her you weren't happy yeah. about it? I... No, you're not happy. Are you happy? I mean, I think you look hot always. I look you look. I don't think you look 80. I don't think you look 80 years old. No, I think that's a little, a little. No, I don't think it's awful. You getting a light? It's not like white. It's not like white at all. It's like, I think that's the problem is it's not like super, if it was like obviously gray, right? If it was obviously gray, but it kind of looks like you're just like slightly going gray. I have. Oh. All right. Do you, girl? Do you? I love you. I think you look beautiful. No, I'm good. Yeah. No, I didn't like it too much. Chicken patties are fine. It's just like, it was just, nah, whatever. Um, I love you. You're still hot. I'll do dirty things to you, even with the gray hair. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't care. I could give a shit. For me, it's just like I get to... Every time my wife changes her hair color, it's just like I'm banging a new girl. Like, sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Guild Gardens. Uh, five minutes for Nooner? <laughs> no. We have a kid. I can't do that. Castlevania movie? Didn't they make a Castlevania show? They had a Castlevania show. I think Metroid live action would be otherworldly hot. Uh, I said good day. Castlevania show's good. She, since we've moved to the new town, she hasn't found, a, like, a hair person she likes. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. Oh. No, like, there's, like, a Castlevania show on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I, if they did a Metroid, I'd want live action. Zelda, I would prefer live action, but if it wasn't, I wouldn't be super mad. Uh, I just shaved my head. I haven't, I haven't had to go to the to the salon. I haven't had to go in years, you know. Christopher Solon. Christopher Nolan style Batman. I'm in on that. Like, or on a, sorry, Christopher Nolan style Batman for Metroid. Yes, I'm in on that. I didn't finish the sentence. I just read part of it. Like, clearly I'm in on a Christopher Nolan Batman. Yeah. Okay, I fucked up a little bit. 
You're moving cities and that's one of your worries. I mean, that's part of the thing, but you know, the other thing is you might find someone you like better. Yeah, moving city sucks. Live action Lego Star Wars? Ah, uh, you know, live action Lego movie. Like they could have like a Lego movie where it's like a kid's playing a Lego piece against his dad who doesn't want to let him play with his Legos for some reason. Wait, what are we doing with that guy now? I'm so confused. What is this guy doing? What is it? What are we doing with Goomba? Oh. Oh, we got to throw him again. So we throw we're throwing Goomba one more time. At the end, we throw him up. Oh, oh, oh. That's basically the Lego movie. Thank you for getting the joke. Yeah, I appreciate you getting the joke. You want a Biker Mice from Mars movie? Didn't they have a Biker Mice from Mars movie? I want to say there was one. You want another Bionicles movie? Do you? No, it's just people don't get jokes on the internet, dude. No, that's it. You can make the most sarcastic, obvious video and people are going to just spend their time correcting you. It doesn't matter what you do. You cannot... Listen, people will not get the joke no matter what you do. Unless you clearly label it, this is a joke in sarcasm. People will not get it. Yeah. No, you know, you, people always think you're fucking serious. That's why I say... That's why whenever I fucking, like, rip people apart in chat, I say I'm joking so new people in chat... Don't think I'm actually ripping this motherfucker apart and put me on live stream fails. You know what I mean? They need a universal sarcasm font? Yes. I agree. I screwed up. All right, all right, all right. We've got this situation. This is a level, dude. Yeah, this is a fucking level. <laughs> I don't feel like that's sarcasm font. I feel like that's just twat font. No! No! Who is great at this? Yo, man, I mean... Usually people are bad at things they do for the first time. Oh. Wow, that's bitch. Why would you put a saw there? I don't get what that saw is accomplishing, honestly. Oh. 
I think there's a checkpoint right after that. It's cutting down my progress. Uh, get out right now. You are not allowed in with a dad joke like that. Gotta run faster! Do I want to jump over the saw? Hubert, one scared at a time. Some people do do S for sarcasm, though. Usually that's after something pretty egregious, though. Sarcasm has got to be one of the hardest parts of learning the English language. Right? Like, because we're dicks. And, like, Americans are dicks, but, like, have y'all met the British? Have y'all met the Brits? You think Americans are dick? Have y'all met the Brits? Have y'all met them? <laughs> uh, you're in a server of the Welsh guy and the dude's relentlessly funny. I like Australians. Yeah, this is a cool, this is a, this is the coolest level in this hack, I think. Damn it! You had a friend from Vietnam who learned English by watching the first five seasons of Family Guy? Okay, that's actually really fun when someone learns English from a certain pop culture thing. Like, there's a driver in F1 named Yuki Sonoda, and his English is only from race car driving, right? Like, that's the only English he knows. So he curses an insane amount. And he doesn't, I don't even think he realizes he's doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is the same Carl from yesterday. After, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, tomorrow I'll do some more levels, more moves. Your Mexican friend learned English by listening to DMX. Uh, well, I think music is in general is, I mean, like, I feel like all the Spanish I know is from Bad Bunny. At this point. Huh, okay. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know what to do past that. Cool section. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, what the fuck?
What is this level? Y'all, I'm looking at some wild shit right now. This one's gonna take a hot minute to one shot. This is gonna be a tomorrow one shot for sure. Okay, I think I get what's going on here. I didn't get it. I don't get it. This music's dope. <laughs> uh, if I want to share my work with the class? No, I don't want to share the, my work with the class. You don't hear gameplay? What do you mean you don't hear gameplay? You only hear my voice, no music or sound? Mm. Are you stoned? Are you stone? Yeah. Game audio is a little low. Is that better? I feel like that's On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you partake in a day? Partake in what? Partake in video games? I don't know, six, six hours a day? Yeah, about six hours a day, I'd say. Holy fuck the sound is it is it hot now? How do I do that? Devil's lettuce? I don't participate in anything with the devil. Is it just yours that chat pop up very late on the screen? Uh, it's probably just your delay. Yeah. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Uh, let's go football starts at two. We have Malcolm Smith, Super Bowl MVP for the Seattle Seahawks. And I'm definitely gonna ask him about future. Um, we have Ryan Shazier on today. We got Tom Brady on today. Future the Rapper? Yes, I'm going to ask him about Future the Rapper. I ask anyone who plays with Russell Wilson gets asked about Future the Rapper. We don't have Tom Brady on today. I was joking. I don't have a fucking Tom Brady. We are going to talk about how the NFL is scripted, actually. That is the topic that I will bring up. I, the NFL is absolutely not scripted, but I'm going to egg on my three former players today. Yeah.
What if one of them confirms it? Uh, what am I doing here? What am I, why isn't this not going fast? You gotta, you gotta take the damage, chat. Uh, Kimmel, thank you so much. Chat, I think y'all, I think y'all are just, I, I don't, no, no, there's no conspiracies in the NFL. Refs just get shit wrong sometimes. It's not that, it's not that crazy of a concept. You know what I mean? How long was my injury recovery? Uh, about a year, give or take. Yeah. What about the NBA? Same thing, human error just happens, man. It's impossible. It's impossible to get everything. It's impossible to get every call right. Dude, this shit's moving. These You're supposed to referee a game moving 100 miles an hour with 300 pound men. It's just hard. Yeah. No, I think you all are confusing what I'm saying. I'm saying calls, wrong calls happen all the time. And that's just life. What I'm saying is that life is just unfair, chat. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Life's just simply just unfair. And nowhere is that more example. Yeah, and nowhere is there a better example on that than referee officiating. Oh. Unfair in a way that benefits Vegas? Oh. Um, I don't think you I'm gonna be real I don't think most people understand how Vegas wins on sports betting you know what I mean Wow yeah they're not trying to win a billion, they're just, no matter what Vegas is going to win, long term, they're going to get their two, three, four, five percent. So they set the over line at 46 and the game hits 46 or 47 and you don't think there's anything going on? <laughs> no, I don't. The same, smoke. If you think that, then you have to think that anytime they set the line at 46 and a game goes 20, that they were fucking idiots. You know what I mean? Like, like you're only taking, you're, you're cherry picking examples of things that should absolutely happen. Um, if you have a ton of mathematicians breaking down and setting the odds for a game, right? Which they do. They should be pretty close to where it's at. Yeah. The idea is they want to basically get 50% of the money on either side. Yeah. Um, but considering people, they also know that people are more likely to bet the over than the under. There's, you're saying there's no way to, cl they get way too close too often to be real?
Okay. All right. I'm going to break down something about the NFL, right? And the NBA and every other sport, right? Um, if you take every score that's ever happened in the history of the NFL, right? The vast majority of games end somewhere between 40 and 60 points, right? The vast majority of the games, okay? It's not that crazy to think that that happens. You are just wanting to believe in a conspiracy instead of people just simply, quite frankly, understanding math. Yeah, I think, you know what I think is more likely? Maybe in the NBA where a player knows the spread and they're like, I'm going to hit this three. Yeah. You got sick, then come back and I'm yelling at chat. I'm not yelling at chat. I'm just explaining that not every, <laughs> like, it's not a conspiracy. You just don't, you have no earthly concept of how... They set lines. Yeah. <laughs> the NBA is scripted? Yeah, because everyone can script when basketballs go in hoops. Yeah. Figure one, the Globetrotters? You know the Globetrotters have lost games, right? Even the Globetrotters is a bad example. Oh. Yeah, I, I think people don't understand how often referees get, like, switched out in leagues, too, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> What's been documented? What has been documented, Smoke? What has been documented? Fixing games? <sighs> the 1919 Black Sox or the 1993 Arizona Wildcats or the small, vastly small number of games that have been fixed in the history of time, right? This small, that doesn't expand this large conspiracy. Tim Donaghy is a, got caught. These are isolated incidents, right? And just because you, just because you believe in these things, like, just because, like, it happened once doesn't mean everything and ever forever is happening. You know what I mean? So how many haven't got caught? Do you guys sport bet? Do you, does any of this matter to you all? How many haven't got caught? Smoke. That could be, I could say this forever. Smoke. Smoke. Watch this. Watch this. Smoke. I could do this for anything. Smoke. Watch this. Smoke, how many times have we not caught you um, murdering people? How many times have you not been caught? Right? How many murders have you committed that you just haven't been caught by? Right? Never? How do I know that? Two? Three? Smoke, how many pictures are on your computer right now that shouldn't be on there? A lot? Probably a lot. 
I can't prove it. How can you prove it? None? Are you sure, Smoke? I, 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 don't, I don't believe you is what I'm saying. I don't believe you. It's happened before, Smoke. There was another, there was another chatter, Smoke 9220, and he got caught. Yeah, and he got caught murdering people. So how do I know you're not murdering people? And do you see, you see the logic where I'm getting here with the logic that you're taking, all right? You get the logic where I'm, I'm going with this? Yeah, and that would be my point. Because you're not a murderer? So there you go. There you go, you just, you just, you just realize. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, your logic is flawed. Just whiling out, just saying random questions without any sort of shred of evidence or anything else. Especially about topics you may not necessarily even understand how they work or like how lines are set. Because clearly you don't understand even how betting lines are set. Um, you're just Tucker Carlson all over the place, Smoke. People don't like when I say they're Tucker Carlson. You don't, they don't have to rig it. Yeah, they don't have to rig it, chat. Casinos don't have to cheat. <laughs> Some things we just knowingly give, give their, our edge away, you know? Casinos cheat all the time. They don't have to cheat. They have the edge. Yeah, if you knew, if you understood how regulated casinos are, you would understand that. They don't have to cheat. <laughs> you work in a casino? Uh, Smoke, but yeah, Smoke921 also worked in a casino, told me they didn't cheat, so. Yeah, you just walk in. You just walk in. You just walk in and you're like, you're like, well, I, I, what? Yeah, you just walk in. And they're like, they already have the advantage. No matter what you do, they already have the advantage. They don't need to cheat. Um, what do I do there? What is even happening this level? Um. <laughs> uh, Smoke, I think you're talking, I think you might be talking about two different timers of cheating, maybe. Yeah. I mean, if you've seen it, I guess it happens. Yeah, we gotta take that, we gotta take that for advantage. Yeah, why didn't you tell the authorities, Smoke? <laughs> Why didn't you help these people? You just you just working for people that do that? That seems pretty fucked up, man. You don't so how'd you see it? Smoke, I feel like I explained it in like the best terms and I feel like you are willingly, willingly being obtuse about it.
So why didn't you tell the authorities? If you saw it, you're witness to a crime. Why didn't you tell the authorities? <laughs> Unless you're in on it. You're an accomplice now, I know. <laughs> yeah. He did tell the authorities. There should be an age minimum for being on the internet. There should be a, um... This level's gnarly? I know. <laughs> you don't think the person that got cheated wouldn't do anything about it? Smoke, I'm just saying, I'm just saying you are, what I'm saying, Smoke, right now, is that you're arguing without any sort of um, basis and fact statistics or sources or anything else. You just have a lot of trust me, bro, and asking questions, right? You absolutely, there's tons of things you can do, Smoke. I mean, th there's literally... Tons of things you can do if you feel you've been wronged by a casino. You can literally report them to the board in Nevada. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all I'm saying, Smoke. Yeah. All these things, all you, everything you're talking about, no, there's absolutely things, there's gaming, there's, there's ways to issue discrepancies and have them video reviewed by the Gaming Commission. There's absolutely like that, yes. Still subjugated. I'm ignoring everyone else. You're ignoring everything everyone else is saying. Harvey Bergman. I'm not talking to everyone else right now, though. Not everyone else is is has logic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're so needy. Also, Harvey Bergman, maybe you're just not saying anything. Maybe I'm reading what you're saying and it's just not entertaining me. Hey, the world's fucked up. Except for the people that disagree, they have no logic. Smoke, smoke, you haven't you haven't said anything though. You've just said trust me, bro. You just said trust me, bro, and it's happened before, so it's happening all the time. That's all you're saying. I don't I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't agree on that. <laughs> Chat, systems that are designed to fuck you don't need to cheat. They're already fucking you. How do I make sure I throw it right? Yeah. Maybe I'm ignoring significant points. Birdman, you haven't said shit, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Derelict, thank you so much. Well you have LMAO? What have you said? Give me what give me what give me the very great thing you said that I should be paying attention to. Ooh, what is happening here? How's this working? Yeah, 
What 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 have you what have you said? What what poignant point have you said that I've missed? Give it to me. You can look up previous comments, right? Or you could fucking copy paste it if it's that fucking important. I'm fucking playing a video game. You want me to go look up what Harvey fucking Birdman said? <laughs> Cut, copy, and paste it or retype it. You fucking. You could have. You could have already had it. And the time it said for you to, you can go look up logs, right? You could have retyped it. Jeez. <laughs> Ain't taking no shit. <laughs> you can't on sub you were never subbed. <laughs> You're fucking working too? Well then contribute to society and stop talking in chat. You just typed three senses and you could have just retyped whatever fucking poignant point you made that I definitely need to realize and listen to. Yeah. Stop being lazy as fuck. Just admit you didn't say anything pointed. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this today, chat. Oh, I need to throw it off the wall before I go in there. Okay. That's the problem. That's why I can't catch up to it. Poignant, I know. Imagine yelling at some guy on the internet. I know. <laughs> you don't keep a Rolodex of everything you said? Well, clearly you didn't make a good fucking point then. You asshole, or you would have fucking repeated it. You're mad I didn't give you attention. You're mad I didn't give you attention for something you said, but you don't even remember what it was. You don't even remember what it was. So obviously it was dumb as fuck. That's why I ignored it. Fuck, I'm going through the rest of your fucking chat now. How do I fucking do this? What have you what have you put in chat? I'm going to I'm going to read every goddamn thing you just said. And I swear to god, if you fucking said so just stupid bullshit, I'm not just going to fucking ban you from this chat. I am calling your work. I'm going to find out where you work, where you live. I'm calling your work, your mom, your loved ones, and I'm going to tell them what the fuck I'm going to be like, "What the fuck were you was he thinking? How did y'all raise him? How did y'all help him out? Who who is this person?" Okay? I'm going, we're going deep, all right? Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm finding you. I'm finding you, okay? Deep dive into your, into your life. And we're going to, we're going to emotionally, emotionally talk to your friends and family about what are you doing? What is he doing with life? All right, how do I how do I go through this? How do I go through their chat log? Wait, what do you mean? I can't just click on their name and go through their chat. How do you do that? Uh, do 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 do. Yep, select their name. Just click their name. Mine doesn't do that. What do you mean? Just click their name. I think that's a that's a mod thing. 
But then why do the refs allow traveling for accredited players and not regular ones? That's not true. They call traveling on Luca the other night. Uh, you don't think referees get paid off ever? Not at the professional level. No, I mean, not Tim Donaghy, unless they got problems like that. Uh, but not saying it happens, saying it happens never and saying it happens all the time are two different things. Saying it happens never and saying it happens two different times are, not, are two different things. Because someone got caught something once doesn't mean others aren't doing the same thing. Doesn't really make sense. You, you, you can use that same logic back to you. There you go. None of those were pointed, and that's why I didn't respond to any of them because they were fucking stupid and I addressed all of them already and what I was talking about. Yes, I didn't address you specifically because I literally addressed that every single time. I'm, I'm, where's your mom? Give me your mother's number right now. Give me your, give me your mother's number right now. I gotta call her and talk to her about what she raised. <laughs> what the fuck is this level? A pain in the ass, that's what this level is. Yeah. The, my point is, is that if you can't differentiate the difference between like one thing happening one time and small little instances of it um, and a widespread conspiracy that's happening literally every game, then I, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Like you're a crazy person. Yeah. You're a crazy person. Uh, Levito uh, Gaming, thank you so much. Yeah, I've gone, the wife got, yeah, the wife got gray hair, so we're boomer family now. What? What? Don't you dare gift him! Don't you dare gift him a gift! Don't you dare gift him a sub. <laughs> Don't you dare do it. Uh... Huh... Uh, what am I doing? Can I give myself a sub? No. Yeah. Oh, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. Even if you're crazy, you guys are fine. Uh, Dude, there's no way I could do this fucking level without looking at this shit. This is ridiculous. How is this still going? Oh my god. This level's stupid. This is going to be a sick one shot when we get it. Yeah. Toxic chat. You know what? At least we're at least we're addressing low grade conspiracies here. My favorite kind.
Yeah. You've only been called 10 out of 8. Doubtful, Marble! Doubtful you've only been called out 10 out of 82 times because you're one of the fucking names that I know and recognize easily. Doubtful it's only been 10 times. That would be a high-grade conspiracy theory. Shit. Okay. Okay, are we complaining about resub acknowledgement? Uh, what ha what I think usually happens is like people come in, they resub, they wait a minute, I don't say their name, and then they leave, and they're like, this bitch. And then I do say thank you. Then like 10 minutes later, I'm like, oh, thank you, Ch Chon Z Hunterill, Derelac, Marble, Levito Gaming, and Anonymous for the gift sub. Do I have an innocent conspiracy theory? Uh, Michael Jordan was suspended for gambling and not for, uh, and didn't retire to play baseball. Uh, Ronnie, thank you for 64 months. Is that a conspiracy? I mean, yeah. They deny it. Okay. You didn't get thanked three days ago? Well, it's because I definitely wasn't thankful for that one. The rest of the subs I was super thankful for, but that one? Nah. That one, eh. Conspiracy, the Bengals were screwed by bad refs. What's the conspiracy that you just accept? Wait, what do you mean? So when y'all deem something a conspiracy, you just accept it and don't question it at all? Legit question? Smoke, I'm saying you can find any information you want on the internet, whether it's accurate or not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? I'm, how, how am I supposed to prove that Michael Jordan was suspended for gambling, Smoke? You know what I mean? How are you supposed to prove that? What are you, what are you supposed to do? It doesn't affect me or my day-to-day -day life. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care that much. I don't have the power of attorney. What I'm saying, Smoke, is you should spend less time on podcasts. Not everything's crazy. Podcasts, podcasts need time to invent, invent conspiracies so they have something to talk about. I think you'd like him. Honestly, I think I think you would love him. 
No, you guys all would you guys would be the worst fucking referees. Anyone who ever criticized a referee has never refereed any sort of game in their life, dude. You guys would crumble under sixth grade women's basketball. You guys would crumble. It's 1 p.m. Shit. I gotta get off. I gotta get off. But I will talk, yo, literally, literally, I will talk all about the rigged NFL and bad refereeing in an hour here uh, on Let's Go Football. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad's ref football for years? I bet, he's, I bet he'd see, agree it's fucking hard. <laughs> Bring this same energy to Let's Go Football. I will let you have this conversation with three NFL players, three former Pro Bowlers today. We have three former Pro Bowlers, a Super Bowl MVP, the leading rusher in Green Bay Packers history, and uh, and a player, if we want to talk about the rigged NFL, a player who lost his ability to walk playing the game. I know his opinions about this. I'd love to bring it up with him. Love to bring it up with him. So bring bring this back in one hour. Bring this energy back in one hour, okay? <laughs> all right, I'll be back in one hour, chat. Uh, uh, I love you all. Thank you so much for a fun day. Yeah. Must have hated getting the script that week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I love you guys. I'll see you in an hour.